In today's world, if you cannot influence and persuade people, failure is inevitable. Inevitable. Whether it's convincing your match to go on a date on Tinder, persuading your boss to give you that promotion, or influencing your partner to watch your favorite show on Netflix. Being able to influence people is a highly valuable skill. And in this video, you're going to learn how to persuade men in some form to control people using the six principles of influence and persuasion mentioned in Robert Cialdini's book, Influence, The Psychology of Persuasion, which is a must read for anyone interested in mastering the art of persuasion. The first principle is reciprocity. This principle states that people feel obligated to give back to others who have given to them. You can use the principle of reciprocity by offering something of value to someone before asking for a favor or request. For example, if you want a colleague to help you with a project, you can offer to help them with a the task first. This creates a sense of indebtedness which can make them more likely to reciprocate and help you in return. The second principle is scarcity. This principle states that people are more likely to value and take action for things that are limited in nature or hard to obtain. For example, if you're trying to sell a product, you can highlight that there are only a limited number of units available or that the product is only available for a limited time. This triggers the fear of missing out, which can motivate people to act quickly. Remember this the next time you see a store promote a limited time sale or a limited edition product. The third principle is authority. This principle states that people are more likely to follow the advice or recommendations of someone who is seen as an expert or authority in their field. Here's a live demo for you to see this in action. Now check this out. Did you see how one small change made a big difference to how the information was perceived? When a doctor recommends a specific treatment to a patient, because the doctor is seen as an expert and authority in their field, the patient is more likely to follow the doctor's recommendation. You can use the principle of authority by presenting yourself as an expert or by referencing the opinions of experts to support your argument. This can increase your credibility and make the person more likely to follow your advice. The fourth principle is consistency. This principle states that people like to be consistent with their past behavior, beliefs, and values. People do not like to contradict themselves, and the trick here is getting the other person to say yes to small commitments before asking for bigger commitments. This can be something as simple as signing up for a newsletter or attending a free webinar. Once they've made this initial commitment, they're more likely to follow up on their action and comply with your larger requests later on. The fifth principle is liking. This principle states that people are more likely to say yes to someone they like. So, if you want to persuade someone, start by building rapport and establishing a connection with them. This can be done by finding common interests, using humor, or even just showing genuine interest in their lives. If you're in sales, this is why it's important to establish a connection with the customer and make them feel liked and appreciated. The final principle is social proof. This principle states that people are more likely to follow the actions of others, especially if they perceive them as similar or credible. So, the trick here is, if you want to persuade someone, provide them with evidence that others have taken the same action or made the same decision. This can be done by showcasing customer reviews, displaying the number of people who have purchased your product or service, or even just referencing popular opinion. This is why reviews, Uber ratings, or any kind of online reviews are so important for all kinds of businesses. This is also why we're going to request you to like this video. Also, remember to subscribe to our channel for more videos on topics like these for personal growth and self-development. We have many more helpful videos on our channel, and if you would like to become an expert in the art of positive body language, check this video out.